Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka the OG Bojangles. I'm a first time movie reactor here on YouTube, posting every Tuesday and Friday, and I'm also a streamer over on Twitch. Today's video is a level 5 Patreon tier movie request from Ryan. And Ryan wanted me to watch Dead Again from 1991. As per usual, I have absolutely no idea what happens in this film, and frankly, I've actually never even heard of it. <laughs> but nonetheless, thank you to Ryan for subscribing at the tier over on Patreon and for requesting this film. And as per usual, even though I don't know anything about this film, I am excited to watch. So I guess with that, let's get started. If you're here right now, thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching. And for those of you over on Patreon, I also appreciate you guys over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all of the full unedited reaction videos and the access to the polls. If you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. I also have a tier over there that is solely for the polls and that is two dollars a month for that once again i have no idea what's going to be happening in this film pretty intrigued to know what's going to happen so uh let's get on into it really do hope you guys like this reaction video and i shall see you on the other side enjoy murder <laughs> oh my god mr world shocked by death of margaret strauss a pianist okay Los Angeles mansion of Roman Strauss. Murder weapon. Oh, so many things at once. Oh. <laughs> Missing anklet. Okay. Gray Baker. Oh, no. Is that the detective we're going to be dealing with? Composer's prints found on scissors. Oh. Uh-oh. Guilty. After one hour. Ooh, no. Come on in, Mr. Baker. He was in smoking aces. <laughs> you really believe that you're lucky to die? What I believe, Mr. Baker, is that this is all far from over. Well, that is not good. But you still killed her. That's ominous. Didn't you, Mr. Stone? Uh oh, he was just told something probably super important. <laughs> no way he took the scissors. Oh no. Uh oh, uh oh, he run, run, run. Oh man. <gasps> oh my god. Ah! What the f <laughs> what? Oh, it's my shirt. Huh. Bert the Furk. <laughs> Wait, here's a clearer picture. Bert the Furk. Oh shit, person. Ah, I had to show my shirt. Ah. We found her two nights ago trying to get inside by climbing over the gates. Since then, she hasn't spoken a single word. Oh. Last night, Sister Constance, she has the room next door. She heard the woman call this word out in her sleep. Disher. 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 Disher? Sounds like nothing to me. She's not spending another night here, and that's final. I have a heart, Father. Damn. I see no reason why we can't have someone look for her family in the meantime. How's that? For a name you can trust. Mike Church, yeah, of course. Mike. Yeah, well, I'm not looking for Miss Wright. I'm looking for Miss Wright now. Oh, oh yeah. my you. God. <laughs> Miss Wright now. Cozy Carlisle. Cozy. Fuck you, I'm on a break. Uh, Mr. It's Ralph and Williams. Myron Spargo died last month. Who the fuck's Myron Spargo? He was a patient of yours. I had a lot of patients. Yeah, well, this one left you eleven thousand dollars. Wow. Myron. Yeah, Myron. Yeah, Myron. Now he remembers. Uh huh. Yeah, well, Myron must have had one hell of a hard on when he made out his will, huh? Hey, thumb dick. Thumb dick. A damn good shrink. I love aggressive Robin Williams like that. Someone it's so funny. Maybe on the way, I'll stop and have a buddy of mine at the paper, take her picture, mm -hmm. run it in the morning edition. Mm -hmm. Okay, how's that sound? Mm -hmm. That sounds wonderful, thank you. That sounds wonderful, what am I saying? So far, people don't really got a heart here, huh? Everybody is a little, uh, kind of an asshole. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, my church. Mm-hmm. Well, what about the uh, the other glove? 
she only had the one on when we found her. Isn't she from Love Actually? Alan Rickman's wife? Ooh, you really just gonna dump her off at count? Oh my god, Newman! From freaking Seinfeld. There's so many people in this. Okay. Uh, we're talking one night at the most here. God, it's so sad. It's just like literally someone of the church being that mean. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, they'll, uh, they'll come find you and, uh, you know. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Hey. Yeah, I'm actually very curious as to why she's like this, you know? Because the nightmare that she had was seemed like a memory, but it was like from the 1940s, so can't be a memory. So very, very interested so far. Ah, uh, yes, she's doing this again. <laughs> Jesus, holy shit. Oh my God, oh my God. Wow, good Lord. Oh, whoever Listen, that was. Uh, tell you. Excuse me, Mr. Church? Yeah, can I help you? I see cases like this all the time. Getting a little close there, Person buddy boy. You a shrink? Mm. No, not exactly. I'm a hypnotist. Ah, okay, here's good. the water, there's the door. Sorry about the stairs. <laughs> now I want you to continue to relax, my dear. Tell yourself that you're going deeper and deeper into a state of hypnosis. Has anyone ever tried hypnotism? Like, actually? There's something. Somebody help me! <gasps> that scared the shit out of me, actually. I'm gonna be real. Okay, guess she's uh, good with him. Now, uh, if you'd you like, you could uh, come by my shop tomorrow afternoon and uh, we can try again. I'm sure they'll find my services invaluable. Huh. Once they realize that I'm the one who has reunited them with their, what, daughter, wife? Or whomever. Yes, have some lovely things. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. He's sketchy. He's a little sketchy. Just checking everything out. He's like, ooh, that's for me? I'm going to take it? Like, no. That was a little weird. Now, I want you to picture yourself walking down a flight of stairs. And as you go down, to tell yourself, I am going deeper and deeper into a state of hypnosis. Hmm. You might just mention them, too. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Let him do his thing, dude. Come on. We don't need the peanut gallery comments here right now. Thank you. Roman and Margaret first met in 1948. <gasps> Okie dokie. I think I've heard enough. Oh, my God. This guy's annoying. Stop. Just let it ro roll, roll out, you know? I heard you were once married. Yes, I was. She's dead now. Hmm. To escape Germany, we had to go through the mountains. We caught her. So you killed her. Mm -hmm. Ruin the couch. I'll get another one. <laughs> I'll get another one. Roman. Bracelet. It's an anklet. Oh, anklet, A yeah. A very special anklet. What? Wow. A colleague of mine up in San Francisco last month had the same thing. have a glass of water? Hey, there we go. I mean, do you remember anything at all? I mean, what about those people you were talking about? Stop Are they still alive? Her. Maybe I can trace I'd them. like to show you something. Patience, please. Handsome man, wasn't he? Not at all the sort who'd murdered his wife. Mm-hmm. He stabbed her in the throat with a antique gold-plated dishier at Barber Scissors. Mm -hmm. Dishier? Dis dishier? They have auctioned at Christie's uh, last year. I Wow. Wow, 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 wow. For whatever reason, these events are consuming her. Mm -hmm. And the sooner we work through them, the sooner she'll get her memory back. back. Crazy. Uh, oh, yes. Thank you very much. My pleasure. See, she's into it. That's all that matters. The other guy needs to butt out uh, just a smidgen. Why are you helping me? I don't know. You smell good. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I feel sorry for you. Maybe, maybe I like you. Jesus. Or maybe I just want to hear how that story you told in there ends. All of the above. Do you believe what you saw was real? Uh, it seemed real. You stick with the junk man. He's on the right track. Yeah. Sometimes That's their best bet. Like someone wants to kill me. Those are just dreams. They're not real. Uh, I don't 
now. Nobody is gonna hurt you now. You know, it's just, uh, you know, if it makes you feel any better. I mean, uh, I can't read feedback. You gonna tell me my future? No, I'm gonna tell you your past. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, oh, now, you, uh, you were born in Idaho. Uh, your father was a potato farmer. So, what's my name? <laughs> uh, I think... Grace. Grace? You think you remember how to dance? I don't know. Well, I think we should go up to my roof and find out. Your roof? Yeah, it's a terrific view there. It's where I take all the women I date with no memory. <laughs> It never rains. It never rains in L.A. Uh, well, J.K., it is. Oh. We're ruined. It's already ruined. Uh-oh. Exactly what happened to Bowman and Marco. Uh, I'm not Roman. Definitely a little, uh, kind of honestly, like, triggering, though, considering it's, like, the same sort of, ah, not the scissors. Oh, someone's dead. No, it is. It's triggering because she literally has memories I guess from like a past life that the same exact thing happened. So. Catherine. <laughs> oh shit. Catherine. Hey. Oh. You don't recognize me, do you? No. Oh, a few days. It'll all come back. I promise. Huh? Hey, who the hell are you? Yeah, really. This is my fiance. Ooh. When I, got home, I found this near the front door. The glove. It on your way out. Oh man, this is ooh boy. I don't know. I don't like this. This is this uh something ain't right here. Hey. <sighs> you were this close. I mean this glove thing was a nice touch. There's only one teeny little problem. It's gonna be like a left glove, isn't it? It's for the wrong hand. Oh Duh. Oh my god, what was the motive? What why would he do that? Oh, he's crazy. Okay, cool. Good as ass. Good as ass. Oh, things just got very interesting. Oh, he probably got like some road rash. Ow. Oh, what is this roundhouse kick? God damn. Mike. What the hell? What the frick? <laughs> Holy shit, that was crazy. That that was the that was the burst of energy that this needed, I think, right now. Think about when things started to turn sour for Roman and Margaret. You look like you're somebody. Do I? You in the business? You know pictures, movies. Uh, no, I'm a composer. Oh, well, in that case, you're not anybody. Hello? Hello? What? <laughs> That was rude. <laughs> I could be a good friend, Margaret. Press a piece of jewelry. Mm-hmm. May I? Get close to it. Uh-oh. This must be worth a fortune. Yes, indeed. I know I shouldn't say this. Uh-oh. But the first time I saw you. Mm-hmm. Hello, Margaret. Where have you been? In fights with everyone else. Yeah. Margaret just needed somebody to talk. Oh, he did the full 360 flop. Wow. I didn't tell him anything. No, you just lifted up your dress. You Did you? Right, no. Nope. Have some trust in your woman. Damn. Communication, everybody. Communication is a beautiful thing. I was just calling to apologize about my behavior the other night. No, not at all. I'm just, I'm just hoping that we can all forget what happened. Oh, God. I was on the phone earlier. Just an old friend. Oh, man, girl. What are you doing? Oh. I was giving you this. I wouldn't steal anything from you, Mrs. Strauss. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. He's jacking your shit, girl. I want you to fire them. I can't fire them, Margaret. They've been with me for years. But there's no reason to... They saved them. my life. Why is it you've never told me that you got all your money from your first wife? Ooh. Well, because it isn't true. Have I answered all of Mr. Baker's questions? Mm. Once again, communication is key. Okay. Oh, uh... Are for you. Oh. 
You were in the house. What house? Roman and, and Margaret's house. Oh, shit. I'm not Roman. You were there. Oh, that's crazy. Woo! Well, the trust level with him just went down 20 points. Okay, okay, take these. Take them! Well, I don't want them. Well, I want you to have them, so just take them, right? Stop take it. the fucking scissors, Grace! Okay, come on, I got some more! Come on! Come on, let's get this thing off, okay? Yeah, he's being okay. super aggressive. I don't know, I don't like this. Why are you being so aggressive? Yo, you're fucked up. What is wrong with you? Why would you act like that at all? <laughs> oh my God. So aggressive for no reason. I would never hurt you, Margaret. Oh yeah, no. <gasps> he said Margaret. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. La, 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 la. No. Nope. Let us begin with the staircase. Holy shit. Yeah. Now, as you move through this door, you will recall a memory. Where are you? Oh. Hallway. Whose hallway? Oh, My no. Hallway. Oh, no. I, I see a mirror. I see a mirror? Myself. Do you know? It's her. Your name. Strauss. I have to stop this. I have to stop this. What? Why is he her? What the hell? I'm not Roman. And you. We're not Mike. Hello! Hey, Mike, I was hoping you'd be here. What? Oh, Amanda. That's your name. What? Amanda Sharp. Amanda Sharp. Your ID's inside. Oh, this is weird. This is weird. So he's Margaret and she's Str like Strauss? That's crazy. What happens now? Fucking do her, man. Blow her away. One shot. Right here. You telling me to kill her? What? You do her before she does you. Oh my God. Your neighbor, Mrs. Kelly, told me you were mugged one night getting on the elevator. Now you seemed okay, but the next night you were gone, which is how I guess you lost your memory. Not the melting scissors. Oh my Lord. Let me be very honest with you, my dear. At this point, I think it best that you have no contact whatsoever with Mr. Church. None. Come on, you don't honestly think that Mike would hurt her? I well, think they could hurt each other. Yeah. Well, if you can't keep him away with words, use this. Oops. Yeah, this is definitely getting to an apex. It was pretty slow building the entire time. It was, it was pretty slow, and I understand it, considering. But now we're getting there. Don't let him smoke. Okay. Cut out a cigarette. They, they, they just told me you're not supposed to smoke. Uh, I'm dying. What the fuck is the difference? Oh my god. I read uh, a book by Roman's guard on death row. He said that right before Roman was executed, you asked him if he really killed his wife. Now, the guard said that Roman whispered the answer in your ear. Yep. So what did he say to you? Hello, cigarette. Look, I don't have it here. What did he say? What did Roman tell you when Roman you Roman saw him on death row? Roman what did he do? Did you just tell him? Say it. Tell me, tell me, Mr. Baker. Hey, take, hey, take it easy. Yo, hey, you okay? Hey. Nah, <coughs> you better not fucking die before you say it. Come on. He kissed me, the bastard. Leaned over and kissed me. If anyone would know, it would be the house. Last I heard, they had opened some sort of shop. Antiques. She and the son opened an antique shop? Oh, you know, oh my God. You know what? For a split second, like an hour ago, I think I was, well, whenever that little boy appeared first, I was wondering if that was, if that was the hypnotist. Oh my God. Of course. Of course. Of course. That's why he was looking at everything in his apartment and shit. Oh my God. Yeah. It was when the little boy stole was trying to steal the anklet oh my god did the little boy kill her hello Hi. hello Inga. hello you know who i am the day of the murder i decided to tell roman how i really felt i love you but roman said he could never love me 
I tried to explain it to Frankie, but he just couldn't understand that Roman and Margaret truly loved each other. So Roman loved Margaret and not me. And Frankie hated her for it. Oh. He just didn't know how much. Yeah, he, he killed her. He knew. So he hired Dougie, the fiance, to take her away from you, right? His real name is Mark. He's just an actor. Jesus. Unbelievable. I can't believe I can't believe that. Um. Uh oh, Mama ratted you out. It's all right, Mother. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, you about to get scissors in the back. Woo, boy. Just couldn't live with it anymore. Good night forever, Mama. Is he has a pillow on his hand? Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw the pillow. <laughs> oh, what a psycho! Not his car breaking down. Oh, you ass. Well, she may defend herself thinking that it's. Mike. Oh my Come god. Go away. Oh man. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Don't you don't, don't, don't get you, closer don't, to her. Roman did not kill his wife. He was downstairs writing the opera. Now listen. This is for you. <laughs> Dead again. <laughs> Oh my good lord. What have I done? Yeah, yeah, you messed up a little bit. Oh no. I, I shot him. Less work for Frankie. Uh huh. There's probably only be the one bullet in there, I bet. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, good lord. God. Oh shit. Oh. Of course, of course. Unbelievable. Get him! Get him, Mike! Get him, Mike! Oh, ay, ay, ay. Oh! Get that hoe! Get that hoe! It's all over, Frankie! <laughs> Mike! What? No! Mike! No! Are you ah! fucking kidding me? Don't. Oh, shit. Well, I, for one, am very interested to see what's going to happen next. Somebody help me! Uh... Skewered. Skewered. Ooh! It's okay. Oh my god. The door just closed. What a psycho! <laughs> oh my lord. That was quite the apex. <laughs> Is that it? That's it! Huh, okay, 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 okay. That last, what, thir 30 minutes, yeah, or so? That was, that was crazy. <laughs> Definitely a lot of twists and turns and craziness. It was one of those films that was like a big old mystery, but it wasn't super hard to follow or anything. And yeah, no, I enjoyed it overall. <laughs> I will say right off the bat, I still don't know why Grace, aka, I guess, Amanda, lost her memory in the first place. Like, they kind of mentioned something about, like, the neighbor saying that she, like, got mugged or something like that, and then, like, I guess from there lost her memory, but was that, like, actually true? Like, did that have to do with her losing her memory, like, so extensively like she did? So I feel like that question wasn't really answered, at least from what I was watching and listening to, I didn't really see exactly like why did she end up like this in the first place? 
I guess I'm just missing something? I don't know. So I guess that's like the biggest sort of thing that I'm kind of like wondering about as we, you know, finish this up. All of this came to be because she lost her memory of just who she was in this present life. But why? That, again, that's just the thing that I'm just wondering because I feel like I didn't get a clear answer and I'm wondering, is there is there a clear answer? Like, is there an actual answer? So definitely, you know, interested to see what exactly uh, is that that is about. Other than that, again, there were twists and turns that I didn't necessarily expect. The friggin' actor that Frankie ended up hiring, that was a whole like mess. That was just crazy. Like, I didn't even, I didn't even know it was happening there. It's just like, what was the motive? What, why, why did you do that? That threw me for a loop. That was the point where things really started to get like really just like interesting. Like it was interesting, but this like took it to like, what the hell like was that? What is going on? Because again, that first hour, it was just such a buildup because we needed, we needed that for this specifically, but it was slow and it was information filled and it wasn't, I, I wouldn't say it was dragging, but it was definitely a build. So again, when it did get to that, it was like about like an hour in, I think, where that actor came in and, you know, started to mess with, with um, both of them. And again, you know, the last half an hour and especially the last like five, 10 minutes, absolutely just insane kind of everything just unraveling. And I thought it was really interesting going, doing the, the whole back and forth with black and white in the past, uh, I guess it was 40 years from the present, just that back and forth. I thought that was interesting. And then also just like as kind of like a side note, Robin Williams character was pretty funny. <laughs> so yeah, really interesting story. Definitely bonkers at some points. Twists and turns and mysteries all about. So overall, I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed watching this. <laughs> and of course, I hope you guys did too. If you did enjoy this reaction, please feel free to like the video. And if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. And if you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. And to those of you who are already on Patreon, thank you so much for being there. Thank you so very much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all of the full and the reaction videos and the access to the polls. If you want to find me outside of YouTube, you can absolutely do so. You can find me pretty much anywhere at the OG Bojangles. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. But I'm mainly over on Twitch and streaming over there. This movie was definitely a thriller mystery, I would say. Very investigative and detective-like in the first hour and very more so thriller in the uh, second half of it. Interesting story, crazy at times. And again, I enjoyed myself. And of course, once again, thank you to Ryan for subscribing at that level five tier over on Patreon. And thank you for requesting this movie for me to watch. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And with that, I hope to see each and every single one of you in the next reaction video, whatever that may be. Okie dokie, toodaloo, adios, and goodbye. <laughs>